Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Here to Help, where I'm here to help you understand more about your health and wellness through the lens of your digestive system. As you can see today, I have the lineup with me. All the different probiotics that we make because we are fundamentally a digestive wellness company. It's what we're known for. It's what we aim to do the best. And today, I would like you all to walk away knowing as much, if not more, about probiotics than the average health professional because you might be surprised at how much goes into making a good probiotic. There's really three key takeaways that I want you to all understand. One, where the probiotic is meant to work in the gut because the environment of the small and large intestine are different. Number two, what goes into a probiotic, the specific microbes and why the choice and selection matters. And number three is really about delivery, meaning how do you ensure that the probiotics that are in the capsule are gonna get where they need to go because the digestive system is over 20 feet long. It's a long journey for a very small little organism. And these are all the things that we think about when actually formulating a good probiotic. So let's start with formulation in the first place. Why do we have more than one probiotic? Well, fundamentally because there are multiple needs that certain species of bacteria help fulfill. And there are certain scenarios where you would or would not want a certain formulation within a probiotic. If you have an upper GI problem, Something in your small intestine could be SIBO, could be a fungal problem, candida overgrowth, parasitic stuff. The environment in the small intestine is different in that there's less microbes, meaning there's fewer quantity of bacteria living there. There's a, uh, a less diverse abundance. They're a little bit more uniform in the terrain that they live in. And the environment of the small intestine should be maintained in a very specific pH so that things are unable to grow and you can support the optimal activity of enzymes that help you digest and break down and absorb the foods that you eat. The colon is different. The colon has a much more rich, diverse, abundant nature of microbes. It's called bacterial diversity. It's a good thing, diversity. And ultimately what you're wanting to do there is make sure that certain bacterial populations are kept in check so you don't have an overgrowth of a bacteria that becomes what's called a pathogen. It becomes a problem and it irritates the immune system. So that's why we have a product like True Bifido and True Flora. Uh, each has a very specific intended place where it works. True Flora for the small intestine, True Bifido for the colon. And the bacteria in them is re respective of the bacteria you would find in that area of the body. There's more lactobacillus in the small intestine. There's a lot more Bifido bacteria in the large intestine. So if you're wanting to supplement specific strains, knowing where they actually reside is very important. We also have Theralac, which is a mix of the two of them. And the goal of Theralac is to have total systemic coverage. And the unique aspect of Theralac is the combination of microbes and the formulations of how it influences the body. The second thing is the actual bacteria themselves. If you pick up the back of a label, you'll see that there's always a list of a species of probiotic. There's um, a genius, so it might say Lactobacillus acidophilus. And it might say 5 billion, 10 billion, 500 million. A good probiotic will always have a number next to the probiotic name. Why? Because the strain designation, it might say LA1, BIO4, BIO7. Now, while that doesn't really mean anything to you guys, to a formulator, to a company, that's a very specific identity tag of the bacteria that allows us to know what it does in the body. So if it just says Bifidobacterium lactis, Lactobacillus acidophilus, there are hundreds of different strains of acidophilus. Which one is it and what does it do in the body? If a probiotic has a strain designation, then that company has done the work to understand A, what the probiotic does in isolation, and then when combining them into a formula, it allows you to create a formula that may either promote an upregulation of the immune system because maybe you want that if you have an infection. Or maybe you want to downregulate the immune system if you have a very sensitive uh, immune response to, say, foods or to environmental hazards, things of that nature. So the nature of the strain designation allows us to know what the probiotic does within the body. And therefore, you can guide the person taking it based upon what symptoms they're presenting, what conditions or diagnoses they may have. Because the last thing you want to do is take a probiotic with good intentions and have a bad outcome because not only does it not help you, it wastes time and it wastes money. All of those things are really important. And the last aspect is the delivery process. There's been a lot of companies that have marketed against the perils of supplementing lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. Why? 
because they, they say they don't survive the journey through the digestive tract, especially the stomach, which is the pH of the stomach is meant to really break down food. So when you have something that's a pH of two or three, that can melt things very easily. And you know what? They're not wrong if you're simply taking a probiotic capsule without protection. But if you flip over the back of our label, you'll notice that it says something called sodium alginate. And it says something else called lactostim. These are proprietary technologies that Master Supplements has used for years. They're actually patented technologies. And what they do is they create a, a, I call it a life raft. It's like a field of defense around the probiotic. As soon as the environment becomes acidic, the impenetrable fortress around the probiotic bacteria protect them from actually being wiped out by the harsh conditions of the upper GI tract. As you go through the digestive system, that little digestive symbol that waves as, as you look at how the, the model of a digestive system looks, as it starts to go through the small intestine, the pH starts to rise. What does that mean? It becomes more alkaline, more balanced. The pH of 7 is totally neutral. As the pH rises, the sodium alginate actually reverts back to its original form and it starts to dissolve. So what was an impenetrable fortress around the bacteria starts to dissipate and those bacteria can start to be dispersed what's in what's called the deep delivery. So you're getting the, the, the bacteria into the part of the small and large intestine where you want them based upon having protection. And the second thing is called waking them up because bacteria, like all organisms on the planet, need food. So they're in a state of what I call suspended animation. They're, they're not alive, they're not dead, they're frozen. They're, they're basically freeze-dried. And when you add the lactostim to the bacteria, once they've actually been dispersed, it allows them to rehydrate and reconstitute their life form, and they actually cla uh, cling on to the epithelial lining and the mucosa in the digestive system itself, and they essentially are brought back to life so they can exert their positive effects locally wherever it is you want them to go. So all of this technology is really amazing and it's shocking to me that a lot of health professionals don't know about these things because it takes time to understand the processes of why you would want a certain formulation for a certain part of the digestive system or why you wouldn't want another kind of formulation for say someone who has a pre-existing condition that might make them have a negative response or a negative reaction. The easy association when it comes to memory is true flora is small intestine, true bifido is large intestine, Theralac is systemic coverage, and Theralac granular might be most optimally suited for people who can't swallow pills or for kids because it will still get into the digestive system even if in its granular form. So this is our probiotic lineup. If you yourself are wanting to take a probiotic, curious about taking a probiotic, the wonderful thing is we have a money-back guarantee. So if the product does not resonate with your physiology, you can try it risk-free. And we also have amazing customer service support. If you have specific questions that you want answered, given what it is you're dealing with, please give us a call and we'd be happy to chat with you about guiding you and helping you make an informed decision to ultimately affect your health positively. We're trying to raise the, the standard of science in everything that we do so that high standard can efficaciously and positively affect you and your health and well-being because ultimately we're here to help try to improve the vitality of every person who wants to use any of our products. If you have more questions, you can always go to our website. We have some really good educational resources there. And there's a lot of the education that we've done in the past available on YouTube. So be sure to check out social media and anything that allows you to get more well-versed and more familiar with our product line of amazing probiotics. As always, it's a pleasure to spend some time with you. Thank you for your time, for your support, and we'll see you next month.